Out of all the 3,000 species of snakes, and over 600 species of venomous snakes, none of them are more controversial or more feared than these two snakes. I'm talking about the black mamba. No, not that black mamba. Kobe, get out of here. This black mamba and the inland taipan. In this video, we're going to be deciding which one of these snakes are more dangerous by comparing their traits and features. Like and subscribe to never meet one of these snakes. The black mamba is arguably one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and it's definitely one of the most feared. Its bite is nicknamed the death kiss, because if you get bitten by the snake, you will most likely die. The black mamba doesn't really have any exciting colours, as the top and sides are usually silver, and the belly is usually cream yellow or white. The reason why it's called the black mamba is because the inside of its mouth is black, which makes the snake very scary for the prey and for humans. The black mamba's average size is 2.5 meters, but the biggest ever recorded was 4.3 meters or 14 feet making it the second largest venomous snake in the world, coming after the King Cobra. The Black Mamba lives in northwestern to southern Africa, where it likes to live in dry urban areas. They are ground-dwelling snakes, meaning that they stay on the ground, hence the name, but they will commonly go up to the trees to find a food source. They are usually found in the open desert areas, long grassy areas, and sometimes in people's houses. The black mamba has neurotoxic venom that affects your nervous system, enabling your brain to think and send messages. It will also kill neurons and brain cells, which is why this toxin is so deadly. With this neurotoxic venom, this snake is able to kill a grown man in just 7 hours, and 19 full grown men with just one bite. The black mamba is a relatively shy snake, and will try its best to remove itself from the situation using its quickness. However, when it is cornered, it will lift up its upper body off the ground and open its black mouth to make humans or creatures feel less dominant, and after that, it will try and bite. Now that we've analysed the black mamba, do you think that the inland type end can compete? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Also, if you made it this far into the video, make sure to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you never miss one of these videos. Alright guys, now let's get to the inland taipan. The inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake and the western taipan, is arguably one of the most venomous snakes in the world. The snake is very rare to see humans because of where it lives, so attacks are very rare. The Inland Taipan is a robust snake that can usually grow up to 2 meters in length. The Inland Taipan, depending on the season, will have a bright olive yellow or golden stomach with usually black tan or a dark brown tan on its back, which gives it a pretty scary look, don't you think? The Inland Taipan lives in Central Australia, in Northern Territory, Western New South Wales, Northern South Australia, and Western Queensland, where it is most dry and desert-like, which is why they are rarely encountered by humans. If the inland taipan isn't sunning itself, it will be in the holes where its last meal was, which I will explain during the behaviour subject. The inland taipan owns the world record for the most venomous and most dangerous snake on the planet. Even though these snakes have pretty small 6.3mm long fangs, the snake can still do its job on killing animals and humans. The inland taipan can kill over 10 adult humans in one bite, and over 50,000 rats with just one bite. Its hemotoxic venom makes the blood clog up and make it like jelly. These are called blood clots, which can lead to heart attacks, strokes, damage to the body's organs, or even death. Because the inland taipan lives in such a deserted area, it doesn't often see humans, but when it does, it is usually a quite shy and reclusive snake, with a placid disposition, and prefers to escape from trouble. As I said before, it likes to stay in its last meal's hole because there aren't many places to shelter. 
It will also hide in cracks that were made by water, but they will only stay there temporarily until it can go hunting again. Now that we have reviewed both of these highly venomous snakes, now it's time for the final matchup. Lock your votes in now and put them in the comments below. Both of these snakes are amazing hunters, but I think the Black Mama comes out on top because of its speed, agility, and size. These snakes have both adapted to their environment very well, like the Black Mamba being forced into an urban area out of its natural home. But I don't think that can compete with Hint Sensor Super Skin, low food supply, and hardly no defense mechanisms. So the Inland Taipan wins this round. The Black Mamba has bitten way more people than the Inland Taipan, and killed for that matter. However, the Inland Taipan is known to be the most venomous snake in the world, and if you're bitten by the snake, you have no hospitals near you, or any help, and the Black Mamba has way more anti-venom. So the Inland Taipan wins another round, making it 2-1 Taipan's way. The Inland Taipan is the most venomous snake in the world, and the pro at adapting. But the Black Mamba is the world's fastest snake, and kills way more people. But there can only be one winner. And that is, drumroll please... The Inland Taipan Everyone, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I will start posting a bit more in the bush soon. I just haven't been really onto it. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, peace out.